Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a panorama paint. This is a technique where uh, the frames of video are separated and then arranged on a inside an image um, as if fr uh, taken from a camera with a much wider field of view than the original footage. This allows us to see um, different pieces of information displayed at different times in the footage in relation to each other. So in this example from our Gaza archaeology project, what we can see is this structure here um, shown, um, which allows us to geolocate this footage along with uh, along with a um, a mound of dirt at the top. So, um, in order to create this, first what we want to do is into After Effects um, import our footage. Um, so this is our original video. So you can see um, this video uh, is actually it's actually quite a little bit longer than the the video that we create the panorama paint from, and that's because only part of the video is actually suitable to creating a panorama paint. So for a panorama paint, what we really want is for the camera to be in a relatively still position but rotating around. Um, so a good example of this would be if you're kind of holding your phone in your hand and you keep your wrist steady, but you rotate it. Um, so your wrist is still um, and your hand is it rotating around um, and you're kind of like capturing like a wider area um, this is like quite a good scenario for creating a panorama paint if the position of the camera starts to move um, it can it can create some kind of like artifacts and issues um, so that's one thing so we want to first restrict the frames um, to which to create the panorama paint from so some frames here uh, show a similar area so we don't need to have these twice so we'll probably start here we'll move the work area start to the beginning and then we probably want to stop around about here just before we see more of the car so then we'll bring the end of our work area to this position so this gives us like a tight little bit of footage um, where quite a lot of the the scene is painted um, or enough of the scene that we can kind of um, put important pieces of information in relation to each other. So another thing that we need to edit about this is you might notice that there is a there's a black bar at the top and the bottom. Um, what we want is for the pixels in the image to only really be pixels captured from from the camera, which these black bars are not. So we want to scale this up, holding Shift and Scale, and just bring the image to an extent where those black bars are no longer visible at the top and the bottom. So they're removed. The other thing we want to do is remove this thin in the center with uh, Hebrew and the Israeli flag um, for the similar reason so that there are only pixels in the image which are um, captured by the camera and will add to the panorama paint. So to do this we'll do that use the rectangle tool. While this layer is selected it will automatically be a mask and we will drag it to the area of the first square. Um, we want to change this from add to subtract and then we see the rest of the image, but this area is removed. And then the same thing here from add to subtract. And now again for the Israeli flag at the bottom. Um, then you can kind of edit these layers by going into the mask, the mask path selection, and you'll be able to double click. And then you can kind of like rescale, move parts around, um, whatever you like. Um, but here we will have this section of footage with these areas completely masked out and we're ready to export them um, export each individual frame I mean so go to export Adobe Media Encoder queue so now the file is here I want to make sure it's a PNG um, um, I will use max, trans, uh, max render quality we just need to make sure it includes the alpha channel um, that's fine and then we will set the um, the location for where we want our frames to go click play and oh yeah also want to make sure that we're only exporting the work area sorry okay now that that's done create a new folder for masked frames Put these bits in there um, and we will move to Photoshop 
So in Photoshop we want to go down to File, Automate and a Photo Merge, which will bring up this box. We want to use Spherical. I think this is the most representative of a kind of like the situation um, which I explained earlier about kind of like a uh, the rotated and widened field of view. We want to deselect blend images together. It's quite important so that the each layer that we create of the panorama will show the entire the uh, the entire frame. Go to browse and mask frames. Highlight all the frames that we exported. Um, once they're here, we will click OK. Um, this process will take some time, so I will accelerate. So as we can see, um, kind of all of these layers have been composed, and we have this quite full image of the um, the structure in relation to this uh, mound of dirt, which is what we wanted. Um, so now to create the the animation that kind of like paints these layers, um, we'll need to export each layer that's been created because each layer is um, an individual image. Um, um, kind of reprojected. We'll need to export these layers from Photoshop. So you can do this by going into export and then layers to files, but it takes a really long time. Um, but thankfully someone has made a script. Um, so on GitHub there is a script called Photoshop Export Layers to Files Fast, which I'll provide a link for, which you'll want to run in order to kind of accelerate this process. Um, so to do that, once you've kind of downloaded and extracted the file, you want to go into scripts browse, um, uh, find the folder, go in and then you want to select this um, Adobe After Effects extended script. Um, so once you click load on this uh, you'll get this dialog box which will allow you to select the destination folder for the layers um, and, and it's really important that you've selected transparency um, because there's like a lot of transparency on each layer and uh, yeah, we'll run this. Okay, now those uh, files are saved, we just need to bring them back into After Effects. So we'll create a new folder called Panorama Frames um, with a P at the start. Um, and then we'll go to File and Import File. Uh, so if we go to exports, panorama frames, I'm going to select and then shift select. We want to not have PNG sequence selected, but we want to create a composition as they come in. Um, so once we've brought them in, we will have um, the style up box. What's really important that the still duration is two frames and the overlap duration is a single frame. Once you select that, it will create this composition. Um, so as you can see, all of these layers have been spat into this folder. And then we'll have this thing which kind of like moves between the layers, but it doesn't hold the original layers on the screen. So to fix that, with all of them selected, we'll just extend them to the end of our sequence. And now we get this painting, which is great. Um, but uh, it kind of paints behind the original the original image, whereas actually what we'd like is for it to do the reverse. So for each new image to kind of like uh, come to the full the foreground. So in order to do this, we'll scroll down to the bottom of the sequence, select the bottom image, scroll to the top, select the top one, and then we'll Control X and Control V. And what this will do is it will just reverse these layers. So now the new images will be painted on the top. And then you have it, the sub panorama paint, uh, where we kind of can now show this kind of like dirt mound um, in, in um, adjacent to this kind of like structure. And we can see it all in a single image, which is exactly what we wanted to achieve. Thanks.